Hey, what's up guys? Zan here again with another tutorial. Oh, I'm a little tired, so don't expect that much funny stuff this time. Sorry. It's going to be a short tutorial anyways. So, um, I got a new idea. Before each tutorial, I'll... Because people have been posting up videos showing, like, their tests with what I do in other tutorials, for each new one I post, I will post someone's response for the last one, what they did. That makes no sense to me even when I'm saying it. So, here's what Fuck Red Gaming did. Very nice. Good job. That was one of the better ones that came out. Uh, some people are overdoing the effects. Just tone it down, do everything in moderation, and it will turn out nicely. So, on to the next tutorial. Let's say I wasn't like Fokrai, and I didn't record with sound, which I normally don't do. And I had a video, I had all the effects I wanted, music, but I felt like it wasn't enough. Here, I'll just play through it really quickly so you can see what I mean. Kinda laggy, but um, you get the idea. There's no gunshot sounds, it's just music going on, and the viewer would get kinda bored during it. So, last year, uh, it was either in October or November, Epically Awesome and I came up with the idea to replace, or actually place in, sounds from a Counter-Strike source in 1.6 in place of gunshot sounds, and then ended up using custom sounds to make up for not recording with fraps. Now some people say, oh it's a waste of time, blah blah blah, but if you do it right, it's actually worth the amount of time you put in it, into it and effort. So, a lot of you would probably be saying right now, well I don't have Kahuna Strike, and how am I going to get the sounds? Well, I'll put down, I'll put a link in the info for this video to the website which I used to get all the sounds from, and I might consider making a pack of all the sounds which I think you need to use in a montage, or a video, because I've noticed that in every time, every video I made, which I use sounds and I saw the same sounds often. Anyways, let's just get Tad to do this. I'm falling asleep right now. Uh, <laughs> so since I'm only using the Super Magnum in this video, uh, I only need L96 sounds. And there are only really five sounds which I need for um, this clip. I need a shot sound, a clip-in sound, a clip-out sound, those are for when you're reloading, and a bolt pull and a bolt return for after you shoot a bullet and you choose not to knife switch. So, let's go for the shots. Um, also a trick that you can use when doing this is, you see this box right here? This minimizes the height of the track, so you can make these smaller than they normally are, and have a lot more work, room to work with over here. So, to place the first shot, I go to the place where I noticed that this number right here, well first I find where the shot was, which is around here, but I go to the last frame where I can see the larger numbers, so the 6, it turns to a 5, that means on this frame right here, I would place the shot sound. So right there, and bang, I'll make it a little bigger so you can see, and there's the L9 shot, I'll copy it, and there was a slow motion over here move forward, turns to a 5, 6, 5, there we go, and again it was over here, or is this a slow motion, yeah this is a slow motion, uh, for this because the number you can see it blurs over there, instead of putting it on the blurred clip I would go to the last solid cl um, slide frame whatever, you know what I mean guys, I'm kinda dying right here. <laughs> And again for the shot before the slow mo. Right. Wait, no, that was it. <laughs> what? I am tripping, dog. Okay. Um. 
right over there. Okay. Now, um, because I have a slow mo, what I can do is drag the uh, sound clips, which I'm gonna slow motion, to a lower track, and right click on the soundtrack, go to properties, go to time stretch, pitch shift, and switch it to classic, and then select lock to stretch so that the sound quality doesn't get dist or the sound doesn't get distorted when I stretch it. Stretch it out to about that long. Let me mute this track and check if it sounds nice. Compared to... Yeah, a little slower. Yeah, a little faster, that's good. And since the sound's a little too long, I'm gonna go to right before the echo kicks in and fade a little bit. And I'll do that to all these other ones really fast. And I can tell because, as you can see, the sound wave gets smaller and then larger. I'll go over this in more detail on the syncing tutorial, which I should have out next week. And to lock this one to stretch, and then to stretch it. There, now we're done with the gunshots. We that was fast. And now you can add that to every single gunshot you want in the video. You don't have to limit to yourself. You can also do it for your enemies. Just do it every time you see a flash. And throw in a few in random places and sequences to make up for the people that you can't see. And also make sure that you put a gunshot sound whenever you get damaged if you choose to do that. Okay, now for the next part. The extra sounds. We also have... um the clip out, clip in, bolt pull, and bolt return. And how you would do those is you would go to the clip or the section where you see the gun interaction take place. As you can see right there, there's a bolt pull right here. And I'm looking at right here for when I see a little edge come out right there. That's what you can see the edge of the bolt. I would put the bolt pull right there and then I would go to the next frame where I see the return and it would actually be right huh it's right after almost anyways I don't care you should be more technical when doing it more careful make sure it's actually on but this is just a tutorial so I'm gonna take shortcuts because I can alright done with that let's go over to the slow-mo was before that Let's see oh so on the slow mo it's only a return and that was right there so I'll paste both of them right here create a copy whoops I don't think I meant to do that okay there's the return properties classic Lock to stretch, okay. Stretch it out a bit. I'm not gonna check it. I'm running out of time. I want to keep this in one video. So let's just say that you add it all to the rest of them, and yeah. Here I'll just finish um the reload or do the reload in the next section. Uh, for the reload, what you would do is um. Here it was right after this. Uh, you would go right after the shot to the section where you see that the gun jerks down. For L9s, when the gun jerks down to about that point, that's when you would pull out the clip. So that's where you would place the clip out and forward a bit, and you see the clip in, and you'd place the clip in there. And you'd basically do the same thing for the slow mos, but lock to stretch and whatnot. Sorry I'm so I sound like I'm skipping, it's a lot simpler than it sounds. Basically just mess around with it, you'll get the hang of it. I want to keep this a uh, one video, so, you know, I don't have to post it up, take up a long time. Any questions, just leave a comment, I'll respond. And I think I'm half asleep now, so we'll... <laughs>